So here is the new uh, Whoop Lite VTX that runs on 1S, uh, 1S Tiny Hawk 3. And I also have the new um, Nano Lite camera that weighs one and a half grams installed. The VTX easily fits underneath the Tiny Hawk 3 in between the mainframe and the, the battery tray. Looks like there's even like a spot designed just for it, um, which is, I think is kind of a coincidence. And yeah, it, it's great. It, it adds, uh, I think like three grams maybe to the, uh, the dry weight. I think normally this is a 31 gram uh, analog drone and now it's 34 grams with digital. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, someone correct me in the comments. Um, yeah, this this is something that HD Zero really, really does it great at. There's there's nothing that gets this small and looks this good. And I'm super excited for what it means for Tiny Whoops in the future. Um, I, I think that we'll see a lot of people that want to fly these Tiny Whoops in their backyards um, because it's it's so easy. Um, it's so fun. You can fly around kids. They they kind of like it, you know. Um, you're just this little thing flying around, shrunk down into a harmless little uh, 1S drone. And it's pretty windy uh, this night, so you can see the drone bouncing around a lot. Um, this camera is still being evaluated and uh, the lens choice is being looked at. Uh, I think it looks pretty good outdoors and I need to do some more testing with it indoors. But I, th I think, um, as you can see, it looks looks good. Um, the field of view vertically looks great. The field of view horizontally looks, I would say, pretty average. Uh, I, I know that everyone would like to have more field of view, but I, I think when I compare this to the analog footage that I have from the Tiny Hawk, I th think it looks pretty similar, um, but I haven't really uh, put up a chart and measured it scientifically. So...